Good afternoon. So, welcome to the final session of today. I'm Chris Dawson, editor of Tame Bay, and delighted to welcome Raphael Orta, who is director of the online business services at Tesco's, and here to talk about marketplaces. So, Raphael, tell us about Tesco's marketplace. Well, thank you very much for uh, for having me, Chris. It's uh, it's really great to see you and uh, see a few friendly faces as well uh, in the in the crowd. So yeah, I, as you know, I only joined Tesco uh, six months ago, uh, and uh, prior to that, I spent uh, ten years at eBay. And uh, Tesco has been running a, a marketplace on the side of our general merchandise uh, business for for a while now. Uh, and uh, we, you know, it's a, it's it's a business model that we like. It's one of the fastest growing uh, lines uh, in our in our business. And part of me joining is to is to uh, help the business continue to scale up and advance and innovate in the in the marketplace uh, space for Tesco. So Tesco's is generally known as a, as a food retailer. So how has having a marketplace sort of boosted your, your non-food non, non proposition? Yeah, so, um, so you know, for, for many years, Tesco, we have, uh, we have had a multi-category approach to, to our stores. And in particular, if you, if you look at some of our uh, larger formats, uh, you, you can find you know a very vast selection. We've had very successful forays into things like uh, clothing with uh, with F and F, uh, and uh, as we as we transitioned uh, towards online, one of the things that we continue to look for is how do we uh, deliver great products, great value, great range uh, to shoppers, uh, while at the same time delivering uh, great service. Um, and, uh, and, and, and for us, you know, so, some of it is the products that we stock and the products that we understand very deeply. Uh, and then, uh, you know, making sure that you can find many other things uh, in, our, in our experiences and then connecting that with our off, offline experience. So, uh, you know, you can buy on the Tesco marketplace and collect from one of our stores or return it to one of our stores and so on and so forth. So we think we have a very, you know, vast selection, great service, uh, great products, great prices connected to our stores. We think that's a great value proposition for shoppers. So for retailers that would perhaps like to sell on the Tesco marketplace, what advice have you got for them? What, what kind of retailers and what support do the retailers need to provide? What, what would make a, an ideal Tesco third party seller? Well, so, um, our, our strategy has been to uh, enter selected categories with our marketplace uh, experience. So some of, the, uh, some of the places where we have seen growth over the last few years have been um, electricals, home, furniture, uh, sports, uh, baby. Uh, and we, we operate a, an invitation uh, only uh, marketplace. There's a mechanism to, you know, to apply and to, to make yourself a, a prospect into the pipeline. Uh, what we look for is um, great products, great value, uh, a range that complements what, what we do through our core business. Uh, very, very deep commitment to our values. So our core value uh, as, a, as, a, as a company is to be helpful to our shoppers. It's to serve Britain's shoppers. And, uh, and our, our mindset is to constantly figure out ways to do that better. Uh, to help them fulfill their missions or to feed into the, the passions that, that they have. So we're looking for, for, for companies and individuals that share uh, those, uh, those values. Um, and then the third thing is that, um, you know, being a, a, a big grocery supermarket with a, with a marketplace business model uh, attached to it, uh, we believe that there's still a lot to discover about how to do that uh, effectively and how to succeed with the two business models coexisting. So willingness to participate in that journey and to discover together, you know, how do we build a, a great experience out of this for Britain's shoppers. And we've got a lot of retailers in the room. What can a retailer expect from partnering with Tesco's? What sort of competitive edge can you give them? What exposure can you give them? What does Tesco have to offer these, these retailers that are here today? Um, so I'm, I'm going to start from the perspective of the shopper. So uh, Tesco has a very unique uh, value proposition uh, in that uh, you know we have a very vast network of uh, stores, three and a half thousand stores in the in the UK, and you know we have a store in almost every postcode and so on. Um, particularly if you're in London, you're never more than a few minutes away from. Um, 
from one of our express shops. Um, again, we offer you know great range, great value. Shoppers like that. Um, we offer club card, uh, which is a, a you know a, a real uh, a pull and a, and a real loyalty driving mechanism for many of our shoppers. Um, we are very effective in pricing, marketing, and promotion. So you know we have a we have a, a you know good understanding about how to drive. Uh, volume and how to compete effectively in the in the marketplace. Uh, so, so that's that's the starting point. The starting point is that we have a great value proposition for shoppers, and as a result of that, uh, you know, we see tens of millions of people coming through you know our doors and visiting our digital properties and and so on. And then underneath that, we have uh, we have stacked services. So, you know, for example, we offer. Uh, buy on the Tesco marketplace, click and collect uh, from one of our stores, for example, which is a, which is a, we, we think that's a, a great value proposition. Uh, and we also offer the, the, the reverse of that, which is if something needs to be returned, it can be returned through one of our stores and then in turn uh, to the merchant. Uh, you know, various different selling tools and, and, and mechanisms to derive um, insights about, you know, how you're doing uh, uh, on Tesco. And, and also because we run, uh, you know, because of the way how we go about onboard selecting and onboarding uh, merchants onto the marketplace, we tend to be a very relational uh, uh, environment. So, you know, when we the, the way we think about our strategy is, uh, we want to be we want to give shoppers a you know, long list of compelling reasons why to come to Tesco, and I've talked a bit about some of those, and we want to be an excellent partner for uh, you know partners of all sizes, and we have a very long history of working with. Uh, very large suppliers, but also working with uh, with uh, small firms and, and anything in between, always in the interest of, of serving uh, Britain's shoppers very well. Uh, this might be a bit of an unfair question because I know you used to work at eBay, but Tesco's marketplace, two of the biggest marketplaces are West known at eBay and Amazon. How do you compare yourself to them? Or do you compare yourself to, to eBay and Amazon? Well, um, so we we think we have a very unique uh, value proposition, being being part of the of the of the Tesco family, uh, the the breadth of the range, the great value, the great products that shoppers expect to find, great programs like like Clubcard, uh, and then also in our in in this in the round perspective that we take with uh, you know all of the parties that 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 participate in uh, in, the, in in this ecosystem, so. You know, we obsess about uh, serving shoppers. We also obsess about being excellent partners. Uh, so we, we think of ourselves as, as, a, as, a, as a very unique value proposition. Uh, and then, of course, we have, uh, the, you know, the, this, this, um, this very direct contact with, uh, with consumers across uh, the UK, which, and, you know, as I only joined six months ago. And, and one of the things that has been really fabulous for me to discover is the the, the connection that communities have with uh, with Tesco and with our stores. Uh, you know, many of them, or most people, as shoppers, but so many people as as employees, colleagues, former employees, and so on. So it's uh, it's uh, it, you know the, the the power of the of the Tesco brand of the the equity that the the brand has in in the market is very strong. And I believe Tesco's also use other marketplaces as well. Yes, uh, so uh, uh, so we we have been running a, a store, a shop on on, on eBay uh, UK for a few years now. It's uh, it's focused on uh, on returns and, and refurb, uh, and uh, um, you know it's uh, it's 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 been a very effective mechanism for us to to make that inventory available uh, to shoppers at great price points. Um, and uh, I, I returned about a month ago from. Um, from visiting our markets uh, in, in Asia. And, uh, and we also run a store, quite a large store, uh, on uh, Lazada, which is the, the, the large marketplace that is, you know, it's a big player in, uh, in, in Asian markets. Um, and interestingly, that store that we run uh, on, on, on Lazada, it's, uh, it's oriented towards grocery, towards dry grocery. So the kind of thing that, things that particularly Thai and Malay shoppers uh, are, are buying there are things like diapers and and, and powder milk and uh, and, and baby uh, uh, products, um, uh, so and canned products and, and so on uh, and uh, so in, in in many ways that has given us um, a very profound insight into what it means to um, run a marketplace and to offer a marketplace as a 
as a venue for, for partners, but it, you know, we also have insight into what does it feel like to be part of a marketplace as a, as a seller, uh, in, in the case of eBay uh, and, and Lazada. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly excited about all of these different ways to participate in the, in the marketplace business model because they reflect a willingness from Tesco to you know, focus on the things that we do very well, like you know, serving shoppers in store. Uh, and then partnering with other co companies to to discover about business models and, and markets and, and and you know as as technology and as all these different business models evolve around the world. And you've touched on things that Tesco can do, like a store in every postcode, and you can't help stumbling across one on practically every street in London, um, and things like click and collect. But can you expand on how you can help smaller retailers because? Um, yeah, large retailers can often do that sort of thing themselves. Um, the, 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 they've got a store estate. Um, but are smaller retailers wel welcome on Tesco's, um, or is it just the big boys you're after? Can you help? We, um, we have a very broad range of suppliers and, and partners from uh, uh, you know, very large global consumer goods companies uh, to uh, uh, family businesses and, and, uh, and, and small farms. Uh, we our our general principle is that you know we we want great products, great value for for shoppers, great quality, uh, and great service. Um, and then you know we have found that we can you know there there are many different businesses that uh, of many different sizes that that share those values. And you know we have partnered with them for many years. And certainly uh, on the on the marketplace, uh, you know I was delighted to you know find a few. Uh, uh, familiar names and familiar faces from my from my time uh, at eBay. I spent you know many years as as part of the UK team at eBay. Eventually went to Switzerland to be part of the European team and eventually global teams. Uh, but having come back here, it's been it's been really great to reconnect with uh, with some of those sellers. And if um, a retailer is thinking of partnering with Tesco's, um, what are kind of the top three tips you could give um, for someone? Um, especially if they're a smaller business, think of partnering with a, a big brand like Tesco's. Um, so, you know, I, I would start with the product. Uh, so it has to be something that is unique. It has to be something that is great quality. It has to be something that uh, represents great value for shoppers. Um, the second thing is um, I, would, I would explore, the, you know, the way how we think about uh, service and the way how we think about being helpful to Britain's shoppers, and you know, test whether uh, you know you share those values and you feel equally about um, what that means. Um, and then the third piece is uh, is having willingness to um, to experiment and to try new things because um, it is um, uh, it it is a relatively new development in the you know in the long arc of uh, of uh, Tesco's history. Uh, and it is a business that we are very excited about, and as I said, it's a it's a it's a very fast growing line uh, for our business, uh, and um, it is a business that we want to continue expanding and changing and innovating. Which uh, you know we 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 expect that we will do that hand in hand uh, with our partners. So that willingness to participate in that process is is essential. And what sort of changes are you expecting on the marketplace in the next say the next twelve months? What should people expect to see? Um, so uh, we so th there's probably uh, three macro things. So the first one is um, how to help shoppers uh, uh, get a much more homogeneous experience across you know all of the ways how you can experience Tesco. So as as you can imagine, when shoppers come to Tesco, um, they expect to get the type of service and the type of choices that they have always got from Tesco. Uh, so we want to make sure that that is happening, which means uh, providing our suppliers and our partners um, services and capabilities to, to, to be able to do that. So, you know, for example, one of the things that um, uh, we think a lot about is what tools are we providing uh, those partners and, and those suppliers. Uh, and, and, you know, a part of me knows that some of those things we have to provide ourselves. A, a part of me knows that there are excellent partners in the market to, to work with to in turn provide those tools and those systems and those capabilities to, to, to merchants. Um, 
and then the, the, the third and final thing is um, we think that this is a business model that is very expandable into many other categories. Um, and uh, you know, so far we have uh, been very, very focused on uh, on general merchandise as a as a as a set of categories. But we're pretty open-minded about where that could go in the in the future. And finally, um, uh, one question I'm sure everyone wants to ask: Tesco's is an invite-only marketplace, but earlier on you kind of hinted that there was a way you could kind of almost request to be invited. Yeah. If, if a retailer here is interested in selling on Tesco's, how can they get an invite? Yeah, so let me uh, make sure that I, I, I say, I, I uh, read this out correctly. So the email is prospectivepartners uh, at uk.tesco.com. So okay. you can, uh, you can uh, uh, get in touch with the team via email and uh, you know, share a little bit about yourself and what your proposition is and, and, uh, and, and the kind of... Uh, uh, the products that you have available, and, and we will give it due consideration. Fantastic. Um, I'd like to thank you, Raphael, and um, I think we've got time for a few questions if you're willing to take a few. Yeah, of course, we'd love to. So if anyone's got any questions, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's some roving mics coming. Uh, sorry, could you just repeat that email address again? Though? Yeah, of course. It's um, prospective partners, in plural, at uk.tesco.com. Tesco.com. <laughs> uk.tesco.com. Can I, sorry, can I just ask you to clarify the business model for the marketplace? Is, does it work like Amazon Marketplace that we would dispatch the goods or are all the goods coming into Tesco and you're dispatching the goods? Um, it, um, it's similar to other marketplaces, so may maybe two things. One, uh, the commercials are, are typically you know, a fee-based uh, or a commission-style business model. And then, yes, the merchant um, dispatches. When, when the merchant dispatches uh, directly to, um, to a shopper, then you know, it is your choice of fulfillment method. When it's a click and collect uh, uh, transaction, then we provide uh, fulfillment partners to get that package to one of our stores. And could you touch on returns as well? If I want to return something, you mentioned I could return to store. Does that work for Marketplace it's, as well? It, it does, So and it, and it works in exactly the same way. So a shopper will bring the package to one of our stores, and then one of our couriers will pick it up and, and, and send it back to the, to the merchant. So carry on with that the, with the returns. So that returns process is that the same for for merchants that directly fulfil orders? Or it, it is. It is the same. Yes. Okay. So so a, a a a shopper can return it to one of our stores and it gets fulfilled back to the merchant. Yes. Hi, as a manufacturer, are you open to um, set up a store or be part of the third party as well, the marketplace? Um, so, so yes, we have both retailers and manufacturers on the on the marketplace. Uh, I think the, the the important thing for in, in you know for a manufacturer in particular is having the fulfillment capabilities, uh, which you know. Uh, not not every not every manufacturer thinks about you know how to deliver to an individual consumer and and uh, and, and how to deal with customer service issues from an individual consumer. But if it is part of your strategy and if it is part of your value chain, then, then you should definitely consider it. Uh, then no other questions. Um, thank you once again so much, Raphael. Uh, thank you. Delighted to see you again, Chris. Thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of IRX. Um, there's, there's still a few stands there that you've probably not seen yet. And um, see you next year.